Hey guys, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. I'm doing Brittany Wright's favourite movie tag. There are seven questions here. They're awesome questions. If you get a chance, check out Brittany's channel. It's pretty cool. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. So, first question. How many favourite movies have you? I am an avid movie watcher and I love my sci-fi and horror. So, between 80 and 100 titles, I adore. Um, too many to mention. But uh, uh, my list keeps on growing. Uh, I, I do love horror, I love sci-fi, and I love the kind of rejuvenation of really kind of cult classic sci-fi that seems to be making a comeback with the likes of Stranger Things and uh, The Void. There is kind of a throwback to the old 80s horror. So uh, between about 80 and 100 movies, I adore. So next question, do you have any favorite movie franchises? Well, I adore the Alien franchise, I adore the Predator movies and the Jurassic Park movies, I love them. Uh, up until even Alien Resurrection, I have a soft spot for the Predator movies I enjoy. I had kind of a couple of things to say about the new movie, The Predator, but I was entertained by it. But you, you, can't, you can't take away from the classics you grew up with and those franchises you grew up with. That they're part of you and, and you just really, really adore those movies. And I I adore the Alien franchise, the Predator franchise and the Jurassic Park franchise. The Jurassic Park franchise, I think, is the movie that got me into movies and got me to enjoy movies. So next question is, uh, do you have any favourite sequels in that franchise? Obviously, Aliens is awesome. I think Aliens... And Alien are the, the same. I, I'd hold them to the same standard. Uh, Predator 2. I'm going to be done for heresy. But actually there are parts and elements of Predator 2. I enjoy more than Predator. Predator is an awesome movie. But there's something about Predator 2. I enjoy, I enjoy more. Not necessarily saying it's a better movie. I just think there are things in that movie. That expands the lore. And that really opens it up. And um, brings it to a wider scale. So I think Predator 2 would be my favourite sequel in, in one of my more beloved franchises. Um, next question. Do you remember the release of your favourite movie and do you celebrate it? Um, I do remember going to see Jurassic Park when I was nine. And every once in a while if I get nostalgic I'll, I'll break out Jurassic Park and watch it. But I don't have some kind of anniversary or anything. To celebrate the time I went to see it. I, I'll stick it on if I'm feeling nostalgic. Or if my niece and nephew are over. They're, they're pretty small. And they, they like dinosaur movies. I'm trying to infect them with the love of uh, uh, sci-fi and horror. But uh, yeah. I uh, Jurassic Park. I remember its release. I remember waiting ages outside the cinema. There was a big queue. Uh, my sister was just warning me. Look. Uh, the cinema is going to be packed so we may not get a seat and we got in and just three or four people are after us uh they stopped letting people in so i was delighted i was nine when i saw it and i can still remember seeing it in the uh, cinema and and pulling my jumper rope over the eyes when either nedry was going to be killed or or the raptors were on screen i remember just kind of doing that uh, as a kid um but yeah uh jurassic park i remember distinctly i don't I don't have any kind of anniversary or celebration of it, but it is one of uh, uh, my favourite franchises and one of my favourite movies that I can still remember seeing in the cinema to this day. Um, number five, have you watched any new movies uh, that have become your favourite? Okay, so new movies that reached kind of my favourite lists. Um, Jeremy Gillespie's The Void, uh, awesome movie, nice throwback to John Carpenter's horror and body horror of the 80s and what else would i have watched recently that i really enjoyed mm. uh not much i've kind of i've kind of just dipped in and out of stuff that that i watched before i'm, I'm one of these kind of boring people unless the title really grabs me i don't necessarily hunt it out i've watched stuff that's good but i wouldn't say it'd be my favorite the last thing i really enjoyed that sticks in my favourites list would be Jeremy Gillespie's The Void. An awesome movie and I highly recommend that you uh, you give it a look. So, 
question number six is there any favorite movie that you can relate to yes uh the cult classic uh from kevin smith's clerks uh this is the quintessential 90s movie and um essentially it's about two guys that work in a convenience store and having to deal with customers and have to deal with super questions and me working retail I can totally relate to that and I can totally relate to uh, the trials and tribulations of being a till jockey and yeah to me that's a movie that, that I get and I, I really enjoy every time I watch it and there's so many kind of things that resonate with me in that movie and uh, I, I just really really enjoy it. Clark, check out Clerks it was Kevin Smith's debut movie and it's it's one of the ones where he was at the top of his game. He's kind of dropped the ball uh, in latter years, but I still think he's a funny chap. And uh, I think his early repertoire is well worth a look. And the last question is, favourite movie of yours that needs more recognition? Um, there is a Shane Meadows movie by the name of Dead Man's Shoes. And it stars uh, t uh, Paddy Considine and Toby Cabell. And it's a revenge movie set in the Midlands in England about a kind of a squaddy, a British squaddy, squaddy who comes back to his local town to deal with bullies who have been harassing his uh, simple-minded brother. And it is a very good movie. It's a bit of a hard watch, but if you can, power through it. Shane Meadows later went on to do This Is England and he done a couple other things. But I think, I think he, Dead Man's Shoes needs a bit more recognition because it's an awesome movie and Paddy Codsolite's performance in it is fucking magnificent. If you get a chance, definitely check out Dead Man's Shoes. So, who am I going to tag in this? Uh, I'm going to tag uh, My Lady, Pixie and Pencils. I am going to tag British Tyrannosaur. And I think I will also tag... Um, what else will I tag? I might try tagging. Uh, maybe Lisa Loves or Rustine. Ru oh, I'm after forgetting the poor girl's name. Rustine. Rustine and Abel's. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to uh, tag uh, Lisa Loves in this tag. And uh, British Trans or Pixie Betzel. And if anyone else wants to give the tag a go, uh, I highly recommend you give it a go. So, yeah, that was Brittany Wright's tag. It was a great tag. It's a fun tag. And I suggest you give her channel a look. So, my name's Martin. This has been the Trash Picture Show. And uh, have a good one. Take care. Bye now.